right, it is the political season, so let's draw a caricature, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna pick on the Don. Not that he's not a nice guy or nothing, but uh, well, he's got a funny face to draw, doesn't he? Everybody loves his hair, and he's always kind of squinting up his face a little bit, pointing at people, all that good stuff. Gets the crowd fired up. I know it got me fired up at uh, every rally that I was at. Okay, so uh, let's uh, well, well, let's just start anywhere and we'll figure it out. We're going to kind of work loose. I am using an iPad today to draw on. Not that fancy new one with the pressure sensitivity. Old Cleveland cannot afford none of that. No, I'm using... Uh, just an uh, old hand-me-down iPad, and uh, I'm using just this little soft tip uh, pen, and that's about it. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of squish in the whole center part of the face here. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing the bridge of a nose, I, I like to do kind of a almost a little diamond shape right there. That's not actually the nose. Uh, but it's kind of the, uh, well, yeah, it's the, you know, that part, uh, the bridge. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to do kind of an upturned nose so you get a little sense of the nostrils there, right? Maybe do that, something like that action. And then, uh, I don't think you have to go and do anything underneath there, but uh, for the nose, that is. But you can always do this little thing right here that uh, I can't talk and, I mean... I was trying to point it out, but you guys can't see me, can you? Okay, uh, e let's see. Do, 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 do. Again, we're just working really loose. All right, so let's do something like this down here, um, and then we'll put his face, on, his his mouth on the in the middle of this, and we're just gonna kind of pucker him up, right? Something like this, sort of scaly. It's like a scowl, right? There we go, but uh, you know, to make America great, you gotta have a frowny face. All right, that's actually not something I said. That's that comes straight from my manager over at the. Uh, I mean, my editor at the. Uh, Orlando Coupon Clipper. That is where I'm an illustrator at. And every once in a while we have some uh, editorials that I get to illustrate for. Otherwise, I'm just usually laying out the coupons in the magazine. It is a free magazine if you're in the Orlando area. I would highly recommend picking one up. Okay, let's do some lines underneath the eyes like that. And he is kind of getting up in age, so let's do these kind of like little things out here off to the side. And here's a little trick from your old buddy Cleavon. Uh, we got to uh, see how the lines is kind of ending right there. You can go straight into the ear from that, right? Okay, and I would just do a little swoop and then do that little bottom part. You know, the part that people get their ears pierced, right? That thing. What is that called? The lobe? There it is. All right, so that's not a, it's a ear doesn't have to be as you know rough as people make it out to be to draw. All right, and uh, there we go. Yeah, something like that. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just keep talking while I'm drawing. That's not something I'm allowed to do with the coupon clipper, though. It is a silent place. Well, silent for us employees. My manager likes to talk all day long. Tells us all sorts of stuff. A lot of preaching there. A lot of preaching. But, you know, that getting into the job, that's for sure. It was an eight-hour interview, and I did not say a word. I just had to listen. Okay, on well, his thoughts about everything, about America. My boss's name is Rufus. So if you ever see, I'm going to redo that eyebrow. Just going back here. 
If you ever see an editorial by Rufus in the Orlando Coupon Clipper, that is my boss. And he might... I'm just going to kind of squiggle these things out. I want to do some sort of sharp ones like that. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Uh, he might be listening to this, though, so i got to watch what I say. If I want to keep my job... All right, so, yeah, yeah, we could do that. There we go. Something, yeah, just kind of squiggle it in there. All right, now here we get to the really fun part, which is going to be the old Don's hair. There we go. All right. And I better make it look good and not talk about something that rhymes with oupe, because old Cleavon does not want to get sued. And, uh, well, videos like this probably won't be a, a problem soon if, uh, old Don gets to be elected. Shut down that YouTube. Right. Too much free speech. That's one of the things my manager talks about. There's way too much free speech. I mean, editor. Why did I say manager? getting well I work part-time at the supermarket too so that uh, I get the two confused some of the time well and also confusing is I have the same boss at both jobs it's old Rufus okay there we go funny how that works out right that I work at the supermarket it oh i'm getting a phone call from nobody that i want to hear from i'm going to decline that oops sorry folks and sorry to you on the other line maybe you had something good to sell me maybe not okay so we're just going to kind of keep filling that in and now what would be fun would be maybe to uh almost, let, let's do his his uh, collar over here and almost kind of like his neck is just bursting out of that thing Okay, all right. Oh, what I was gonna say is, yeah. Look, think about the monopoly we got down in my little small town near Orlando. Because not only do we own the supermarket, we own the coupon clipper too. So we just figure out. Well, I shouldn't be t saying this really, but what we do is we figure out the price that we. <laughs> that looks funny. We figure out the price that uh, we want to sell it for, and then we just jack up the price a little bit, and, uh, and we account for that with the uh, the coupons, right? So if you don't get the coupons clipped out, then you're really paying through the nose. But that's good business, isn't it? Okay. I didn't say which supermarket, though, so you don't know. All right, and maybe a few more lines out this way, but that's that's actually looking pretty decent, I think. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't even know if we should do it, people. I guess we could. Eh, a little beady eyes. That looks good. Beady eyes are presidential. That's what I think. And that's what that's what my manager slash editor told me to think too. He said, "Make them beady." And that'll look presidential. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty pretty nice. All right, now, uh, so if you want to be a professional, somewhat, somewhat professional illustrator slash bag boy, you, uh, you, what you want to do is you want to make another layer. It doesn't matter what program you're in, illustration-wise. There's probably a way to make another layer and then draw above that with some nicer lines. Okay, so uh, let's get out of that. Oh, no. Well, okay, there we go. All right, and then, uh, of course, these nicer lines are going to be a little bit darker because, well, now that we've sketched things in, we, we sort of know where they should be, right? So then we can just kind of, oh, here's a good example. I'm just going to go along here. And I think I can make that a little bit bigger. Go up to that, about that range. And look at that pretty line. No, no, no. And 
And if I appear at all a little shaky in illustrating, that's just because I cut myself opening up boxes at the market. And so I got a big old bandage on my arm right now. Okay, there we go. Not on the arm that I'm drawing with, though. But it makes me shaky all the same. It's what you might call a little, well, in the supermarket business, old PTSD. Once you cut yourself with that box cutter, woo, it's tough to forget that. Okay. There we go. I'll be having nightmares for a while. Yep. Looks about right. Sometimes people do this with the nose. Do a little thing like that. Not me, though. Okay, uh, let's see. You go over here and do another eye. So what do we think? Is the Don going to get elected? Wouldn't that be a hoot? I know everybody in my town voted for him. Those that could vote, which is about, I'm guessing, maybe 30% of the individuals that I live near at the trailer park. Most of them can't vote. I got a thing in this country that uh, if you have been convicted of a crime, you're not allowed to vote. I guess we don't want criminals voting. Because they would... I don't know. I don't know why that is, actually. Why, if you've been to jail, you can't vote. Well, that's not true, actually. I got some friends that went to jail, and they can still vote. Maybe it's certain types of crime you can't vote after. Or maybe after you've been to jail, you just don't care about voting. Okay, here we go. We'll do that. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit pushed out like that. Alrighty. There we go. And... He, you know what? If he lost an eye, I feel like he would get elected immediately. You know what I'm saying? People would feel bad for him on one hand, but then he would look cool on the other because what is cooler than uh, eye patch? You know what I'm saying? He would look kind of like Snake from that movie with the big city that I'll never go to. For a lot of reasons. You won't find me up in no New York City. Too many gangs running around the park at night. So I've heard. Okay. Woo, there's a, that's a good eyebrow. Look at that thing. Man. I'm going to be showing this to everybody at the market. They're going to go, Cleavon, when are you going to get out of this one horse town with your talent? And I'm going to say never because I love my one horse. And I think that's actually a saying, a one horse town, but not to me, because we only got one horse at River Falls. Okay, let's do a little bit more of that uh, funny neck popping out of the collar. In fact, we could probably, there we go, squeeze it in even more. Maybe make some of that come out there, like a little Adam's apple. All right, and we could... Yeah, stretch that out just a little bit. Make it seem like uh, with the, some lines over there that <laughs> is really kind of bursting his uh, his shirt. Okay, this actually turned out pretty decent. 
Let's do a few more lines. I kind of like these lines over here. Make it seem like everything's just kind of squished together a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Let's, uh, do that funny little tie. Right. Okay, there we go. I feel like maybe we could even try to... Let's see. There we go. There we go. I knew something wasn't right about that. It'd be a lot more fun if he was kind of looking like... Oh, I gotta go the other layer for that. Uh, let me switch out. Here we go. We're gonna back, back down to that one. And how come you're not erasing? There it is. <laughs> All right. Got to go back up to this one. And from here, so yeah, you could do kind of like something like this. And then do that little bit of the kind of shoulder, right? <laughs> now, I'm not saying he's a pig or nothing, but it does kind of remind me of a, uh, some of the pigs that are near my house. There we go. Something like that. And let's zoom in just a little bit over here. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of some nice places to kind of embellish a little bit. There we go. Maybe a little bit underneath the eye. A little bit more like that. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know if his ears are really that big, but... Uh, looks okay. Uh, let's see what it looks like without that layer showing. Oh, yeah, look at that. It, it's I, th I sort of like these sketchy layers, though. I'm going to show that again. I feel like it adds a, a little bit of shading or depth to it. And you can see if you want to keep it in the end. Uh, let's do this then. Let's uh, let's do. Might as well color it in, right? We're all having fun here. Okay. What? Which one did I just do? The, that one. Okay. That's so. That's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually hold down on this. And move it down over there. There we go. Just reorganize a little bit. Like a lot of the things in my life, I need. I need reorganizing. All right. So uh, let's grab. Let's take the opacity down. Funny word for see-through opacity. I'm gonna oh, come on now. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I want the color wheel. All right, here we go. Here we go. Picker. Yep, that's it. Take that over here, and let's give him kind of a orangey color to him. Right, do something like this. Okay. Uh, there it is. All right, perfect. Okay, so. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that's too much. Uh, take the size down just a teensy bit. All right, now you'll notice that. So I've doggone it. I shouldn't have said doggone it. Borderline swearing. Okay, all right, so here we go. And you'll notice that uh, obviously I got the opacity on. So when I when I draw a little bit, it kind of doubles up. You know what I'm saying? See this little part right around here? I just kind of did a little circle. It sort of doubles up a little bit, but it you can make that look nice. For example, see we're kind of shading that in a little bit, and then it starts to look intentional. Right? Right, do you, do you got it? Okay. It is about 6 a.m. And that supermarket is not going to open itself. So Cleveland had better speed it up here. Oh, I tell you what, though, I'm not a fan of those speed illustration tutorials on fancy YouTube. I like things nice and slow so you can kind of pay attention to them. And you can hear 
the stories that people have to tell about their lives. Like a good old ghost story. Something like that. And most of which are not go are not stories, uh, are real fact, factual is the word I'm looking for. They are definitely ghosts at my house, and they eat my food and borrow my stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this in. Here we go. I made it a little bit uh, less opaque, a little less see-through, just to give it make it a little bit, a little bit different color than the rest of the skin, right? Um, <laughs> look at him. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's grab uh, a different color, uh, maybe that uh, orangey again, something like that. And uh, this one I'm gonna make it just a bit darker, something like this. And then I'm going to really take the opacity down. Now watch this. So we can do kind of some undershading on, on some of these parts, right? Especially over here. That would be shaded. All around here, right? Maybe a bit more under the nose. And if you're kind of consistent about uh, your light source, you know, it's... Um, you really can't go too wrong with this you know so for example if the light is up here right then uh, it's going to be casting shadows uh, no, no, underneath his eyebrows or underneath his eyes actually most people this whole area in here is always kind of shaded or dark <laughs> shaded <laughs> not as well lit is the word i'm looking for all right there we go. Okay. And you can do a little bit of that like that. Something like this. Alright. And this, again, you know, you just kind of keep adding it in there until you feel like you've got it. Always a good idea to uh, zoom out a little bit and just kind of see where you're at. Okay. And... You know, I forgot to actually color in. If I hold down over here, I get this little sampler. Okay, there it is. And uh, then I could, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Uh, then I gotta hit okay. And then I can fill it in with the same color basically down here. And now let's do his hair. Okay. Yep. And his uh, eyebrows. Nice yellow color. I wonder if that is real. That coloring. And his hair. Because you can get your hair dyed, you know. In fact... We got some coupons this week at the Orlando Coupon Clipper for Susie's uh, hair salon. Well, she uses that word kind of loosely. Salon. It's in her basement. But those coupons are still good. Even for a basement business. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, I want to go, I want some sort of darker things in there. I got my hair uh, styled by Susie. It was nice. She did an excellent job. I also said, hey, you know, coupons. Get some people in here. So not only did I make her or laid out her coupons in the magazine, 
I did a little bit of hustling for the company. I made the sale. So what did old Cleavon get for that? Nice $10 bonus. And her ad is going to be running through 2036. She did the 20 year deal. Okay. That's looking pretty nice, I think. All right. You might be wondering, well, is that the is that good for my business that uh, twenty year deal? I'd say, yep, it is. It's only forty five dollars, and you get your coupon to run for thirty years. Well, I shouldn't tell you this, but. We change names every five years and we void out all those coupons. We just shut down the business for about a week and we tell everybody, sorry, you gotta pay up again. Okay, so you can see again. A little scribbly here, but that's okay. I think we can make it work. And you might be wondering. Well, how much ad space do you get in the magazine for that much? And I'd say it's not very much at all. About an inch by half an inch, which makes it incredibly hard to clip that coupon because a lot of times you just lose it. it blows away in the wind like a postage stamp. All right, uh, let's see. Are we still going? We are still going. Man, people are gonna appreciate this free lesson. And we have a, we tell all of our people, our advertisers that uh, coupons have to be clipped to redeem them. You can't just for example, Susie's Hair Salon, you can't just show up with a page of other coupons. That would be like bringing a coffee cup into a movie theater, you know. That's pretty rude. You gotta clip that thing. And we say, don't let anybody not clip. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna zoom in. In fact, we'll drop you as an advertiser if we find out that you let somebody redeem a coupon that was not clipped, right? Just makes sense, good business. Like the Don. He knows business, doesn't he? Okay, what do we think? Is that pretty good? I feel like we need to shade in a little bit over here on the side. A little bit more over here. He doesn't look happy, that's for sure. But with so many problems in this country, how can you be happy? That's what I want to know. Oop, oop. Alrighty. I'm just going to do a little of that down there. I feel, like, I feel like it needs it. Okay, well, that is it. And remember, I'm not just an illustrator. I also lay out coupons. And I also work at the supermarket. All right, that's it for Cleavon today. Come visit me anytime you're in the River Falls area.